Hello everybody, this is Straining ML here for part 2 of the last 32 round. We've got four more matches to go through here. Starting off with the Champions team versus Heady. Will Heady break his losing duct in the last in the knockout rounds? Nopey going up against Elty Gauzy. Which one of those two will get through? Silver Knights looking to looking to take a bite out of Dragon Destroyer's winning streak. And then Stranger Kid going up against Toka Nightmare. Right. Let's get let's get on with the first match, shall we? Well, if part one was anything to go by, this is going to be insane. We've already had some shocking upsets. Are we in on course for some more? Okie dokie then. In the red corner for the Champions team, we've got the Alpha Chasmosaurus. No terrain advantage this time for the um, Champions team. And in fact, no terrain advantage for either of our combatants. Ooh, this is a big test for Heady. Big test. Champions team topping Group C quite comfortably. But if I'm honest, Group C wasn't really the most intense group. You know, so maybe topping it kind of flattered the Champions team a bit. But there we go. Backing up the uh, Chasma, we got Rugops. Right, as for Heady in the blue corner, we have got the Stone Cold Triceratops. Heady getting out of Group A, some mixed fortunes thus far in this tournament. But well, we can we all we can all remember what happened to Heady at this stage in the last tournament. They won five out of five and lost straight away in the knockout round. Heady will be looking to avoid a repeat. Backing up the trike, we got the Splitosaurus. Hmm. Ooh, it does have the type advantage over Rugop. Should it come to that? Does that give Heady the upper hand in this match? I think it does. This is going to be interesting. Can the Champions team get to the last 16? I don't think a bot team has ever got that far in a tournament. And we have two bot teams. We have the Champions team and Team Africa. Ooh, and it's the Champions team getting the first hit. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry about that. I don't know why it lagged there. Okay, Heady wants to swap when HP's in the red. Champions team below half. Ooh, that's a tie. I think Heady's got the Plasma Anchor, but we don't see it. What we are seeing is plenty of poison and a strong start from the Champions team. Ooh, but Heady getting a hit back there. It's a lightning strike. Ooh, that's a tie. Will we see Plasma Anchor this time? I think we're going to. Good hit that from Heady. Coming in with that Plasma Anchor. Gonna yoink the Chasmosaurus towards it. Towards it. And bash it away. Okay. Now it'll be time for both teams to want to swap. But who will get that swap? Oh, it's the Champions team that gets the swap. And to add insult to injury, it's a happy pudding. Which means the Chasmosaurus is going to heal up as well. Oh, not by much, but... Eh, healing's healing, I suppose. Oh, yeah, poison it again. The Rugox comes in. The Daspletosaurus is going to get hit. Wouldn't count Heady out, though, because this Daspletosaurus has type advantage. Can Heady take advantage of it, though? Ooh, that's a tie. Probably not the best route for Heady there. But that is... That is a crit. And actually, that would have been a firebomb had it not been for the move breaker. So move breaker actually doing a perp serving a purpose there. Right, time for the Rugops to try to attempt the swap. Oh, he doesn't get it! Heady turning this match around again. Coming back into this contest and takes out the, the uh, Rugops, which means the Chasmosaurus has got to come back in. And that has in fact put Heady in the lead. Ooh, the firebomb has been restored, but let's be honest, a vanilla crit would be, will be enough for Heady to win. Ooh, the champion's team knows it. They know he wants the crit. Just don't go for paper. Ooh, that's a tie. The ties favour Heady now. Heady definitely on top. 
Oh, but that can change. That can change. That's a crit. That's another tie. Ties do still favour Heady though. They do have slightly more health. Oh, the champions team's done it. Heady's going out. Choking at the last 32 round yet again. And it is the champions team going through to the last 16 round. And that is as far as any bot team has ever got before in a tournament. Could the champions team win it? Well, I hope not, because <laughs> I don't want a bot team to win. <laughs> but if that's if that does become the case, then so be it. But anyway, we've got a long way to go yet. We've got plenty of matches before the final. Right then, let's move on to our second match. Right, what does this match have in store for us? Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Okay, well, it doesn't matter because none of our guys have Alpha Dinosaurs. Right, in the red corner, for Monsieur Nopi, we've got Triceratops, the orange Triceratops this time. Nopi enjoying mixed fortune so far, finishing third in Group G. Bum, 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 bum. Backing up the orange trike, we got the Stone Cold Eo Carcaria. Well, we saw it get off a death fire in the last... in its last map appearance against the Light Fury. Didn't change the outcome of the match. Right then, in the blue corner, for Elty Gozzi, we have got Terry. Gozzi enjoying yet another fine tournament. Finishing level on points with Cheer Knights in Group F. Bing, bing. Won four matches in a row going into this. Ooh, this is a tough one to call because they both got Death Fire. Yeah, this is a tough one to call. Because neither of our guys got any terrain advantages or anything like that. There's not really any type advantages either. So yeah, we could be in for a very, very even contest. <coughs> okay, so Gozzi swaps when HP's in the red and Nopi when HP's below half. Oh, the good start from the Nope. It's a crit. It's a Thunder Bazooka, a move Terry will be familiar with. Boosh! Always getting yeeted by it. Oh, hello! Eo Karkiri again, some support to damage off. And that is a dream star for Nopi. And actually, it'll be time for Terry to swap out. Oh, I didn't get a swap! Another Thunder Bazooka! Boosh! God damn, this Triceratops in his plot armor is ridiculous. But the Ceratosaurus, well, Ceratosaurus is going to do it all on his own. God, he's in a bit of trouble here. Oh, for God. Don't be paper. Thank you. <laughs> I, I was thinking, oh, God, it's going to be paper again, isn't it? But no, Ceratosaurus getting a much needed crit. And in fact, it's got Dino Stuffer anyway, so even if it was a crit, the Dino Stuffer is going to eat it up. That's a tie. Uh, that's not... Stop going, scissors. Otherwise, that's going to keep happening. Gossy landing another crit coming back into this contest. Right, this time to swap out the trike. And it still goes for a crit. Ooh, it does get it, but the dino stuffer is going to stop the damage. However, the triceratops will get the swap out. And Eocarcaria has got to come in. Oh, finally, it doesn't go scissors. Oh, <laughs> should have gone scissors there, no thing. Really? Wow, that's really interesting, actually. Very rarely do the fire dinosaurs get death fire this early. It's usually when the HP is, like, in the red or something. But, well, can nobody get the job done? Oh, he can't! Gosh, he's dodging a massive bullet there. Massive bullet dodged. And this Ceratosaurus is doing the work. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, here comes heat eruption. Ooh, that could be... Wow, it's getting heat eruption off. It got a death fire triggered. 
It's like Gogazio Karkiria. Plot armor. Oh, oh, oh well, arcade armor, we'll say. But a, a needed hit there by Nobi. Gossi was getting some momentum. Yeah, we'll attempt the swap again because it still it still has that swap. Oh, it's not getting it. And in fact, it's dead. And all of a sudden. All of a sudden, Gozzy with a chance to win. Only issue is the dino stuff is gone. Oh, no, it's a lightning... No, no, it's counterplex. I thought it was lightning strike. But look at that hit from Nopey there. And it all comes down to this. Oh, and of course he's going for a crep. Oh, he doesn't get it! LV Gozzy gets the win. A cut from behind victory from the Sarapnosaurus to give Gozzy the win and a place in the last 16 round. Well, well that, that is how tag teams do, that's how tag teams work. Even if the one dinosaur sucks like Terry did, the other dinosaur can pick up the slack and step up. A good solid team there and a good win for Gozzy to get through the last 16 round to face the champions team. As for Note B, well, unfortunate because they had the perfect start, but they just Lost that bit of momentum there. I think the Dino Stuffer, yeah. The Dino Stuffer was crucial there. And yeah, that, that is it for Nopi. Right, let's move on to our third match. Well, this is going to be an interesting match because... Oh, ooh. Ooh. Well, if you're Dragon Destroyer, you are very happy with this arena. Right, in the red corner for Silver Knights, we got Spiny. Silver Knights been game through, finishing fourth in Group D with a massive result in Round 5. Against, yeah, Broxy, I think. Yeah, Broxy. Massive win for them. But this will be their biggest test so far in the tournament. And this is a problem for them because this Uoplocephalus will have terrain disadvantage. So, yeah. As I said... If you're Dragon Destroyer, this is probably the perfect field for Dragon Destroyer. And they need they needed terrain advantage because they have a double type disadvantage against Silver Knights. Which would be which is a big problem. Right, in the red corner, blue corner, for Dragon Destroyer, we've got Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, Dragon Destroyer, the only 100 percent is left in the tournament. The only combatant that won five out of five. Can they make it 6 out of 6? Backing up the acro, we've got Super Truck. Await the mode on 2. So yes, with a terrain advantage, the Alpha Acro will get the first hit. And it'll be a rock hit for the looks of it. Dragon Destroyer swaps when HP's below half. And Silver Knights in the red. <coughs> Ooh, now, as like I said, this is a really intriguing game. It's, it'll be, it's Silver Knight's toughest match so far, but I think it's also Dragon Destroyer's toughest match so far. But a Fire Cannon is a welcome start, and, well, this field is very welcome, but look at that. Very little damage done to Spiny. Oh, here comes another Fire Cannon, Dragon Destroyer starting well. Spiny feeling the heat early on. Oop, that's a tie. Ties will suit Spiny though. It is very much a tie specialist. Ooh, that's a crit. You know what that means. Futaba Cannon's gonna get triggered. What is it with these fire dinosaurs getting death fire so early? Big moment this could be. Oh, he gets the death fire! Massive moment! But on honestly, Alpha Acrocanthosaurus gets death fire. Eocarcaria gets death fire. Terry, which has practically double the technique, doesn't. 
massive moment in this match because the Uopercephalus comes in with terrain disadvantage and the Acro is going to get another crit. And a Volcano Burst, the massive momentum swing there. And all of a sudden, Dragon Destroyer well on top. Oh, that was a bruising couple of hits there. Can, can Silver Knights get back in this contest? Oh, there's another crit! Well, whoever said this could be a banana skin for Dragon Destroyer is dead wrong. Easy as you like. Type advantage means nothing if you don't get the hits. And that is 6 out of 6 for Dragon Destroyer. And they will be going through to the last 16 round. As for Silver Knights, well, they did well to get you this far. But yeah, that was a bruising defeat there. The Death Fire, definitely the turning point. But they just, just couldn't take advantage of that type advantage. Right, on to our final match of this session. Well, I wonder which token nightmare is going to turn up today. Oh, um... Based on this field, I think not the very good one. On the in the red corner for Stranger Kid, we got Parasaurolophus. Stranger Kid, uh, uh, mixed bag so far. Scrape through to the last 32 round to get this match, but will fancy themselves on this field. Backing up the para, we got Amplosaurus, which has seemed to be doing most of the work for Stranger Kid. Can they get... Well, the winner of this contest will have a daunting ask taking on Dragon Destroyer. Right then, in the blue corner, for Toka Nightmare, we got the Alpha Super Minus. Toka have been very much hot and cold so far in this tournament. They've either been really on it and dominating, or they've just lost. <laughs> so, as I said, we'll see which Toka turns up today. And based on the terrain we're playing on, it'll probably be the not-so-good token. Although, they get, we got this Super T-Rex, the Awake Mode on 4, and it, we did see what it can do. It was very effective against Heady in the fifth round of Group A. Okay, so yes, Parasaurolophus will get the first hit because of the trade advantage, and in fact, it will be a crit. Uh, Toka swaps when HP is below half, as does Stranger Kid. Good. Good, finally, two guys who want to swap out at the same time. Ooh, Super gets the next hit, though. Toka shaking off that early crit. Getting the light, getting the recovery going as well. Ooh, not bad. No shockwave, though. Ooh. Stranger Kid went for the crit, but Toka's having none of it. And a shockwave to come as well. That will guarantee Toka at least, well, damage if it's a tie. Let's have a look. Ooh, he's going to go for Paper again. Oh, and that will be a tie. Mm, okay, I think that's just above half, so we won't swap yet. Oh, the Suko gets the next hit. Well, it was a good start from Stranger Kid, but Toka definitely on top early on. Okay, that's consecutive Shockwave removal, so the Shockwave rule will not apply this time. Which is lucky for Stranger Kid, because it's time for them to swap. Okay, they will be going for Scissors. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, it doesn't get the swap. <laughs> Toka gets the next hit. Oh my god, another shockwave. Okay, well the shockwave rule will apply here. Wow, three shockwaves in a row. That is crazy. I don't think we've had that yet in this tournament. But like I said, the shockwave rule will apply yet again. So we will go for rock. And it, well, it guarantees that Par Parasaurus is going to die. I don't think it's going to survive this time. Nope. But this is a strong start from Token Nightmare. But let's not count Stranger Kid out yet, because that T-Rex, if it comes in, will have terrain disadvantage. 
Aqua Whip. And it'll have the type disadvantage against Amplosaurus as well, so Stranger Kid, not out of this yet. Ooh, that's a tie. Kind of don't want to waste the Futaba Cannon on the Suko. Wants to save it for when the T Rex comes in. Ooh, will it need to? Well, it will come in, but the Suko will get the swap out to live to fight another day. Oh, this is awkward. Um, ooh. Okay, that's once. Oh, good, good. The shockwave went. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, there's the Dino Stuffer, so no crit for the Amplosaurus. Oh, I was close. I don't know what I would have done if the Shockwave effect activated. Oh, there we go. Relief. Right, that's twice. Oh, he gets the crit anyway. Amplosaurus is going to get the next hit, and it's going to be a Futaba Cannon. Which means big damage is coming Toka's way. Right, that's three times, and actually the T-Rex will be do a swap. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, the T-Rex gets the next hit, we will get to swap out. Which is actually bad for Toka, because when it comes back in, he'll get the Awaken mode. But the terrain disadvantage means that Amplosaurus will get the next hit anyway. But, by the looks of it, it looks like Toka is going to avoid that problem. Uh, yep, yeah, that's going to be game over for Stranger Kid. And it is Toka Nightmare going through to play Dragon Destroyer in the last 16 round. A good win there for Toka, a solid performance. Got the job done. Got a little bit uncomfortable at the end, but got it done and saw off Stranger Kid. And that's all she wrote for Stranger Kid in this tournament. Bowing out at the last 32 round. Right, let's have a look at our matchups and we can end the session. Well, that is how our our last 16 round looks thus far. We have the Champions team going up against LP Gozzi. Dragon Destroyer going up, to up against Token Knight. So yeah, not really much to say. Dragon Destroyer making it 6 out of 6. They going through a good win, and Gozzi coming from behind to defeat Nopi and the champions team barely edging out Heady. Oh yeah, that is it for the top bracket. So stay tuned for next time, where we will have these four matches. And until then, ta-ta!